So I've got a bit of a problem here. Some of my hand laid turnouts, just about all of them actually, I've really been having a tough time getting the uh, tortoise to be able to throw the switch points all the way over. And I did a lot of monkeying around with them, trying to get it to work, and uh, finally I decided to do some breeding on the internet, and I think I found a solution to my problem. So I'm almost done laying the track on the layout, so I've been getting the reverse loop uh, switch ladders already, attaching the tortoise switch machines below, and then getting them, tuning them up to work good. And uh, this first reverse loop that I did, I didn't really have any problems, but now I come back and I've, you know, it's been sitting for a year or so, and hasn't really been uh, moving. I'm starting to have problems again with the uh, switch machines being able to throw these turnouts. So these ones are uh, on this loop they're just a skeleton just on PC board ties and that's probably why they worked okay to start with. I and mean, if you mess around with them enough with there's not much resistance here you can see the points are only sliding on uh, on two ties here, two PC board ties. The other reverse loop, the one that I'm discovering all these problems I have, um, it's with the wooden ties from Fast Track. So these, uh, there's a lot more friction there. You can see, you know, there's a dozen or so ties that the switch points have to slide on. And when I started installing the tortoise switch machine wires on the, the ones with wood ties, I can't get any of them to work. So this is where I discovered I had a problem. Once I started installing the switch machines and uh, the throw wire, I had problems with every single hand laid turnout on this thing but no problems with the the Pico turnouts that I installed and that's probably because these Picos have kind of polished plastic that the switch points ride on so there really isn't much resistance there at all so I spent way too much time trying to tune the switches and you know fi sanding them down trying to get the you know reduce the friction on the switch points I even tried uh, lubing them with like graphite didn't work what I should have done was just went to the internet and uh, searched for it and of course found the solution to it right away Anybody pretty much that builds these hand laid fast tracks turnouts, they use a thicker throw wire than the one provided by tor Tortoise. So this is the one that's, uh, that comes with the Tortoise switch machine. I don't know what the exact gauge is. And this is the one that Fast Tracks even recommends uh, switching to. So I right away I ordered a bunch from Fast Tracks and uh, bent up a bunch of new throw wires. So this is the wire that Fast Tracks recommends. 0.037 inch wire, like a piano wire type thing. Nothing special about it, it's just like a 12 inch piece of wire. I'll show you quickly just how to bend one up, uh, there's not much to it, you can do it with just a pair of needle nose pliers. The tortoise provides the, uh, the jig on the instructions for these. I like to just draw a little line kind of where the bends are, it just helps me to see where I need to do the bending better. But all you need is a pair of needle nose pliers, so I just grip it at my line, give it a quick little bend. Okay, and compare it to the drawing, see how you did. That's pretty good. So once we've got the first bend in it, it's real simple, just again use your needle noses, grab it right at the point where the bend needs to go, and then just gently do it with your finger. This one goes all the way. 90 degrees. We'll take a check it, check it out, see how it looks. It's pretty darn good. So now I'm just going to use the cutters on the needle nose to uh, snip it, and we're done. So watch yourself when you cut these because they can shoot off. So just a note about snipping those: uh, definitely wear safety glasses and watch yourself because I actually impaled myself in the hand one time with a small piece of wire that came flying out of my cutters. So always wear safety glasses when you're cutting this, especially this hard wire. So there we can compare it in a jig, there is another one done. I'm not going to mess around, I'm going to change the throw bar wires in all of my hand laid turnouts just so they have uh, no trouble in the future with them. And uh, installing them is really easy, all you need to do is just get your uh, pin vise, find a drill bit that's the same diameter and then you uh, you need to drill out the hole you need to drill this hole out, the top one make it a little bigger because we, we're using a bigger diameter wire you don't have to worry about the throw piece, it already comes with fairly big holes drilled in it so that'll work and then you just need to use your pin vise to drill out a small slightly bigger hole in the throw bar 
of the turnout. And then you just install it the same way you would a normal uh, throw wire. So once you got the thicker wire installed, you end up with you got to shave off about a quarter of an inch. And what I learned was, um, since this is a thicker wire, it takes a lot more torque to clip it. And using the wire cutters kind of made a mess and could possibly damage your uh, your tie on the throw bar there. So, so I like to use the Dremel with the small cutoff wheel. And just another heads up for safety wise. And make sure you're wearing your safety glasses because these things can spin with a lot of energy and make sure the uh, the cutoff wheel is really tight in there like use the wrench to put it in because these things have a really high RPM and uh, that if that cutoff wheel comes off while you're using it that could have a lot of energy. Well, the safety glasses are on, we'll go ahead and uh, cut this guy off. Just like that. And then a nice thing too about the Dremel is you can clean up this little stump that's left behind make it look nice. So that doesn't look too bad. Of course, we're going to paint all this trout work when it's done. And just like that, suddenly the switch machine has a lot more power. And that's without even adjusting the, uh, the throw bar slide on the tortoise. So now we know we're going to have really good, reliable operation of these hand laid switches going forward. So I'm going to spend a couple hours and go back and redo all the throw wires on these eight hand laid turnouts and hopefully I won't have any more problems with them. And hopefully this video can save you guys uh, some time and don't make the same mistakes that I do. So I hope you found it informative. As always, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.